What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize picks WNBA player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down giving you guys four picks to get you winning some money over here on prize picks as always. If you haven't checked out prize picks, would I highly recommend you check them out, guys. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players, points, assist, rebounds, points, rebounds, assist, fantasy score, three pointers made in the first six minutes, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to $100 on your first deposit today. Again, that is code KJKDFS. Go ahead and lock that in, get that free money offer. Start winning some money over here on Prize Picks. Guys. And if you are getting very serious, I do offer premium content package. I do have a Prize Picks WNBA package. You can get access to all my core plays, my projections, my Discord. Ask me any questions you need. All of that fun stuff. I also do offer MLB uh, if you're looking to learn that. So check it out. And if you enjoy the content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Like on all these videos, is going to be 200 likes. So we got two games in the WNBA today, and I got four picks, uh, four top performers, four players that I have projected to hit the over on their fantasy score. And uh, we'll talk about it. So we'll go game by game as we always do. The first game on the night is going to be the Phoenix Mercury taking on the Washington Mystics. This game comes in with a 165 over under with a 7 point spread in favor of Washington. So as far as this one is expected to stay decently close, it's pretty high pace. Pretty good game environment overall. And like I said, I got two picks for you guys. So uh, as far as on the Phoenix Mercury, uh, pick number one, we're going to be going with Skylar Diggins-Smith. And we're going to be going with the over 33 fantasy score here. She's been phenomenal, playing massive minutes, contributing in all categories. She's averaging 37.6 over her last five. They only got her set at 33. You look what she's doing as of late. I mean, I feel very confident in targeting the over here. Like I said, uh, top performer, plays lots of minutes, contributes. And you look at how she's contributing. First of all, last time out, 40 minutes, 31, 35, 37. The minutes are massive. And then you look at her game logs, 27, 4, 5, 3 steals. You get three points for every one of those blocks and steals. So I'm always trying to target players that rack up the blocks and steals on top of all the other statistics. She put up 18, 5, 3 in one steal the time before. 29, 1, 2, 2 blocks, 1 steal, 22, 6, 6, 4 steals. I mean, she's just been absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, the minutes are there as well. Fantasy point production is there. She's averaging 34.5 fantasy points per game on the season. And they've got a line set at 33. You're looking at my projections right now. I've got her set to go out there and put up 39 tonight. So uh, I definitely do like the over 33 fantasy score for Skylar Diggins-Smith. Pick number one of the video. Pick number two, we're going to be going to her teammate. Uh, we're going to be talking about Diana Dosori because I do like the over for her as well. 26 and a half fantasy score for her tonight. I will gladly take the over. She's hit this in four of the last five. Uh, this line just continues to be way too low in my opinion. Once again, a player I've got projected to hit the over very easily here. I've got her projected to put up 35 tonight. Uh, only a 26.5 fantasy score. And then once again, you look at her contribution across the board. Uh, the Phoenix offense really does flow through these two ladies. So, I mean, the usage is very condensed. I feel pretty confident in targeting both of them. She's putting up 26.48 fantasy points per game on the season. And you look at how she's doing it uh, in the mid-30s for minutes. Once again, 35, 34, 36. And then you look at the, the points, the rebounds, the assists. 23, 7, 1 steal. 23, 3, 6. Uh, 19, 2, 7, 1 block, 1 steal. 32, 3, 4, 1 block, 1 steal. And it's not even like she needs to have this great of a game with where her line's set at prize picks. I mean, only 26 and a half. She's been having games where she's just clearing this so easily. Even if she has somewhat of a modest game, um, still expected to clear, averaging 31.2 over her last five. And I'm glad to take the over once again. All the usage for Phoenix flowing through these two ladies, so I feel really confident about that. That's going to be pick number two in the video. Pick number three, we're going to be heading over to the other game. In the Seattle Storm taking on the Minnesota Lynx. As far as the totals in this one tonight, this game comes in with a 158 over under, a seven and a half point spread in favor of Seattle. And uh, we once again have two ladies on Seattle that condensed, you know, condensed usage really have been performing very well. And I'm going to continue to target number one, Brianna Stewart. I, I mean, she's at this point, she's a pick on every one of my videos. It seems like the Seattle squad's a pick on every one of my videos, but why wouldn't they be with how they've been playing? She's just absolutely dominating this line, 36 and a half. Uh, 44.3 over the last five. Last two times out, she's put up 50 plus. I'm going to continue to target her, man. Once again, you know, just massive minutes, great fantasy point production, and, and contributes in all categories. What, what more could you ask for? 25, 8, 4, 1, and 3, 32, 11, 2, 1 steal, 19, 7, 2, 1 block, 1 steal. 
She's getting the minutes. She's getting the usage. Uh, she's racking up peripheral stats. And until they put this lineup, you know, to 40 plus, I'm taking the over every single time. Every single time I have her projected to score 40 plus, outside of a blowout, she's gotten there. And I uh, continue to think she continues to produce at that rate. So we're going to store it like the over 36 and a half fantasy score for her. And lastly, pick number four, once again, two teammates that really all the usage flows to them. Another lady I've been targeting all the time, and I'm going to continue to target that. And Brianna Stewart and uh, Ezzy Magbagor, because they have just been killing their lines. I mean, I'm going to continue to go to her once again. A 29 and a half fantasy score. I've got her projected to go out there and put up 36 tonight. And uh, once again, prize picks, the, the line's just not up enough. I consistently have her projected in the mid-30s. Uh, until they get that lineup, I will continue to target it. I'm sure that these ladies' lines are going to be climbing up at some point in the season because they just continue to crush. I mean, price picks, they're, they're going to have to adjust. But until they do, I'm going to continue to take the over. 29 and a half. Once again, you look at what she does. The minutes are there. The peripherals are there. Uh, does a great job at rebounding on the glass as well. I mean, anything you really want. Last time, she didn't really have a good rebounding game either. She still cleared it because of the blocks and steals. 13, 2, 2, 5 blocks, 1 steal the time of 4. 13, 6, 2 blocks the time of 4. 12 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 5 blocks, 3 blocks, 2 steals. I mean, those just those points add up so quick, and uh, she's consistently doing it. So going to continue to target her for sure. Once again, a player I've got projected way over. Uh, these four ladies have consistently been scoring over the line. They've, they're actually the top four projected in my model right now. Uh, but hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And uh, price picks, they just haven't adjusted the line enough as far as I'm concerned. I like these four ladies. I've got them locked into a power play. You can mix and match them if you'd like to mitigate your risk. Uh, whatever is up to you guys. But I've got it locked in. Those are my four picks to get you winning some money in the WNBA tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, check those out as well. That's linked below in the description, patreon.com slash kjk underscore DFS. And if you haven't signed up for prize picks, go ahead and check them out today, guys. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to $100 on your first deposit today. Wishing you all the best of luck on your player props tonight, and we will see you in the next one.